crap. I don't have my, um... Oh, they killed us! Oh, no! Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Don. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to work on getting a habitation built. Now, I keep telling you guys that uh, we're going to build the pistol. We're going to build the pistol, but what I keep uh, finding out is that we're, you know, we, we still haven't met all the prerequisites to build the pistol. Um, what we need to do is we need to be able to habitat so that we can then put, I think it's called a fabricator down. Um, where is that at? Fabricator, path light. Well, it's, it's whatever the next highest thing is after the printer. Um, in order to make circuit boards and wire that the pistol needs. Now, I have a problem with this setup. Why would the game let us make the pistol in the 3D printer, but not let us make the items, the, uh, the, the wiring in the circuit board in particular in here to make it first? That doesn't make sense. It seems to me like it should be the other way around. They should let us make wiring and, and circuit boards in here and make and and wait till we get the fabricator to make the pistol. So I don't, I don't get that. That's really weird. But anyways, I guess that's the way the game works. Okay, so a couple things. Um, I uh, This is episode five, and I still haven't seen any of you guys' comments because the first episode is going to release tomorrow on April 15th. Today's the 14th. Um, and so, you know, once that's released, then I'll start seeing your comments. So again, just kind of keep that in mind as you guys are watching. Uh, if I don't seem to be responding to your comments, it's because I haven't seen them yet. Uh, but tomorrow we'll, you know, we'll start seeing them because um, I'm going to start releasing the videos um, every day, at least early on, depending upon, you know, how well they do and that sort of thing. Okay, I've learned two important things um, from watching some other YouTubers last night. The first thing I've learned is that you need to do combat, melee combat in third person because when you do, then the enemies have a much larger hitbox. I have uh, confirmed that that is indeed the case. So... Um, you know, I went out and killed uh, some crabs. We, I, I did another run through the beta mine, and yeah, it, you are much more effective in third person with melee in this game than you are in first person. I hope they fix that though, because I, I still would prefer to fight in first person, but um, at, you know, right now, um, third person is definitely the way to do melee in the game. So we're, we're just going to have to work with that. Uh, secondly, I learned that apparently. The skill tree is completely broken. It, it's like disabled. It doesn't even work. Um, and I think that's probably true because if you look in here, for example, I can make barrels and I can make um, I can make the conduit bender. Um, and over here, I can make uh, like the pickaxe, for example, or even the dragon tooth. And I haven't learned any of that stuff. Um, so apparently, yeah, apparently there none of that stuff is working right now. Um, but that being the case, we're going to continue following the skill path anyways, as if it was working, just because, you know, they are going to eventually fix it. And so we might as well just stick with it now and play the game as legit as we can under those circumstances. So speaking of which, I've got a whole bunch of points to spin here. Uh, excuse me. My goodness. <laughs> uh, I've been doing a lot of mining, as you can see, so I have 65 points to spin there. Um, and uh, I have one stat point, so I think I'm just going to keep um, pumping up health for now. Okay, so here's the thing. We need to build the habitat so that we can put down what I think is called the fabricator inside the habitat so that we can then make wire and circuit boards. I don't know of any other way to do that because, you know, you can't make wire and circuit boards in here right you can't make them in the furnace because well that's just ingots and cooking meat you can't make them in here even though you should be able to make them in here um that still makes no sense to me whatsoever um and you can't of course make wire and circuit boards in here so um unless i'm missing some other device uh, we already have the forge the chem station and the printer um yeah i don't know i don't know what else to do the other thing that I'm a little confused about is furniture, bed, crate, shower, computer, couch, oh, advanced fabricator. Okay, I think this is the thing here that uh, we need, requires owned laboratory. Oh, no, okay, that's not it. 
where it's just like, oh, here we go. This is what we need. Okay, fabricator. So this is a thing that will allow us to um, make wire and circuit boards. It says requires owned habitat within 50 meters. But I thought you had to put this in the habitat. Hmm, I don't know. That's really odd. So anyways, we need that before we can then make the circuit boards and the wires so we can then finally make the pistol. Um, the good news, though, is now that I know fighting in third person works much better, plus the fact that the machete, I'm really liking the machete, you guys. It's uh, it's uh, it's pretty badass weapon. Um, you know, even with it uh, being low on durability, it still, um, you know, it only loses eight, eight damage. Um, so it still does 12 damage at its worst, and it's and as it has, it has 20% critical hit. Now, I also heard by reading some comments and some other YouTubers, people are saying that the um, that the conduit bender is actually a good weapon, but I don't I don't understand that. I mean, I, I get it does it does. Oh, oh, I misread that. Okay, it does 30 straight up damage and it does not lose any damage at all, but it only has 5% critical hit. Hmm, that seems kind of weird to go around hitting stuff with a conduit bender though. <laughs> uh, but I guess you can mine with this, you know, and, and hit with it too. So you're going to do more overall damage with this, but you only have a 5% chance to crit, whereas this is going to do 28 when it's fully repaired but it has 20% critical hit. So, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. The nice thing about this is we can mine with it too, but I already have a, a second chisel as well. So we, we might have to think about that. We might have to think about that. Um, so yeah. All right. Anyway, let's see here. We need, so I, I, I'm sorry. I'm a little scatterbrained here. In order to build a habitat, we need water tanks. Uh, well, no, we need a water tank and a gas tank. So let's go back into here. I've already put points into learning the habitat. So um, we've already got that done. Um, we need we need to get these storage learned, but I mean, that's not absolutely critical. What we, we have to do is we have to get to here so we can build the gas tank. So I hope I have enough points for that. So glass container, barrel, small gas and large gas. Excellent. And we still have nine engineering points left over even after that. Uh, we're going to want the barracks eventually and bed and cushion seating. Uh, you can use this to provide a, a buff to your stamina. Okay. Um, I don't I don't think the bed is super critical right now only because we already have one in there. Uh, we'll we'll want it eventually inside the you know the habitat or or more uh, accurately the barracks. But for now, you know we're good to go on that. Okay, so that uh, takes care of our engineering. Now let's take a look at science next. What we want is do we have to learn chemistry table crab mech? Ooh, that could be fun. We might have to we might have to try that. Shield generator, that could be useful. Oh, okay, so we have to go up here to get to Fabricator. Nomad Living unlocks the ability to build an inflatable dome kit. Oh, so technically I guess I wasn't supposed to be able to make that. I didn't know that. I, I, I just, you know, I hadn't realized that the points weren't working right. So, I mean, we've made it, so we have it, and so it is what it is. <laughs> um... So, okay, so let's see. We need to go up computers, fabrication. So this is what we need to get to. All right, so here, here, and here. We got it. Okay, awesome. Um, Can I s spend points on this? No, we're too shy. All right, when I get two more science points, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy this, if you will, just because we've already used it. Um, so that way, you know, we're doing things legit. All right. So now, um, if we go into the build menu to structures, and we go to habitat, um, we we just have to build the liquid tank and the gas tank, and then that will unlock this, um, so that we can build it. And then once that's unlocked, then we can build the uh, the fabricator inside. We'll also be able to make the airlock because the airlock just requires uh, the habitat first. 
Okay, so I think we're in good shape there. Let's go back to here now and look at combat points. So we have 45 combat points. Um, what is this? That's a ground turret. A wall corner. Alright. I'm thinking that... It's funny that the tactical knife is further down in the tree than the machete because I don't I I feel like the machete is way more better way more better <laughs> is way better than the knife but um I guess I shouldn't say that cuz I haven't really tried the knife in third person. Anyway, we've already learned the pistol and of course we want to get into rifles too. Do we wait, can we make Oh. We need to be able to make these. So I'm actually going to spend that and then I'll I'll buy this later. Uh, I mean, yeah, because we have some of them, but we've got to be able to make that stuff. What's this? A charge cell. Unlocks the ability to craft charge cells. Charge cells are used as specialized ammunition for the charge rifle. Okay. Um. What's this? That's an assault rifle. That's a charge rifle. So is this this is more like projectile, and this is more like like laser beams or something? I don't know. A hydrogen torch. Hydrogen torches fill a large superheated gas stream that will require a hydrogen canister for fuel. So is that like a flamethrower or is that a torch for tools? It must be a flamethrower because it's in the combat tree. What is this? A cryo rifle. Oh, okay. Like freezy freeze. Heavy assault rifle. Nice. Large ammo shells for the heavy assault rifle. Uh, bolt rifle for the... Bolt rifle. This must be like a sniper rifle, I'm guessing. And then ammo shells for the uh, for this guy okay so let's let's learn those two okay and we still have 21 combat points uh what is this again this is the charge rifle advanced guns that let loose power powered charges for projectiles that could be made more powerful by by probably holding the button down i'm guessing um Well, this hydrogen torch could be useful. Um, the I guess the other question is, my goodness, here, let's let's get into here. We need to save too. I'm I'm afraid my little hut's gonna get destroyed. I mean, it's been at like one percent durability for a long time, but it doesn't seem to be breaking. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know how to repair it either. Okay, uh, anyway, let's go back here. So we have 21 more points to spend. <coughs> excuse me, spend in combat. Um, is this worth getting for mining? Unlocks the ability to craft a pickaxe. Pickaxes are large melee weapons that do significant damage. That doesn't really tell us anything. Um, so I don't know. Is it worth it to get this? Or should we start thinking about moving towards ground turrets? Because, I mean, I think we'll probably eventually get this stuff, but... I think between these two, we're, we're going to be set for, for a while for guns. What is this? Markers. Lost ability to craft markers are small flags that show you can claim an area. That's only, I think that's multiplayer stuff, so that doesn't matter to us. So I'm thinking maybe we work towards ground turrets. Um, unless we want sniper rifle. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do, you guys. I don't know what to do. Let me know in the comments. Um... If this is worth getting and I think we're gonna for now we're just gonna work towards ground turrets so I hope that's not a mistake you know we can make these the walls too which will be good for the base and so we need 18 combat points and we have three all right sorry I know that took a little bit longer than it probably should have but I'm just trying to figure all this out so all right now uh, it's getting what time is it eight <coughs> excuse me eight hours to next soul yeah it is effectively nighttime so I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is just wait out the night. I'm not going to dig any more sand because I've got piles and piles of it, and it's taking up room, and i got probably enough glass to last for the whole rest of this playthrough. So um, I'm just going to wait out the night, and when morning comes, I'll bring you guys back, and then we'll go from there. But we're going to have to go... Um, we might have... We, we're going to need some rubber, and I might have enough rubber to do what I need to do, but we, we'll figure that out in the morning. Okay, so I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, it is uh, one hour till morning. I actually went out um, and killed killed some of the monsters uh, overnight just to, for something to do because, <laughs> you know, you just sit in there and kind of bored off your ass. 
Uh, I, I forgot to mention that I, I made another furnace uh, just so we ha can double our water uh, generation. So, yeah, we got that going on. Uh, all right, so the first order of business for uh, this in-game day is I want to make a repair table. Um, so to do that, we're going to need four steel, one rubber, and one glass. So let's take a look and see. Uh, I got five steel made up there. Uh, let's just grab all the rubber and we'll grab that glass. Uh, let's go ahead and go utility, a repair table. And we're just going to put it right here next to the uh, to the forge. I don't know what's considered the front. That's probably considered the front because of the vice and everything. And boom. Okay, so now to repair this. Uh, okay, so it's going to have repair costs. I want to repair this. That's going to require one iron. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I've been playing a lot of Valheim, and in Valheim, it repairs are free. Um, so, I don't know why. I thought that might be the case here, but it is not. Oh, I got a couple bug parts I need to put away. Okay, so, do I just have to have this in my inventory? Oh, yeah, okay. So, only one ingot to, pay, to repair the whole thing. That's not bad. Um... I'm not going to bother repairing this. What does it take, though? Uh, iron 2? Only because I already made another one. So when this breaks all the way, I'm just going to chuck it and then use this, and then we can re, uh, we can repair that one later when we need to. Okay, so the repair table's done. Um, I do... Do I have anything else I want to repair right now? I don't think so. Apparently, these two items here don't have durability um, on them, so... Uh, next thing. Now, we need to look at making the water tanks, which are prereqs, or the, the two tanks, which are prereqs to making the thing. So the gas tank is going to require three rubber, six copper, and five steel. So we're going to have to make some more steel. And for that, we need iron, which we already have, and I think magnesium? Is that the one that we need? Can't remember. Let's take a look. Starvation warning. Steel. Yep, yeah, magnesium. Um, so let's make... Let's queue up six of those in total. We'll put this uh, carbon in here. And I'm going to put that back for now. Okay, so that gives us seven steel. Now let's go back into this menu, utility, and... Oh, and we need six copper, right? Okay. Uh, let's just grab all the copper. Okay, so we should be able to make the water thing. Now, I've been thinking about how we're going to do the base. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll put the main habitat building right about here-ish. That should allow us to expand one thing that way and hopefully one thing over this way. We might want to angle it a little bit, but, you know, we have we have a really long valley so we could just you know keep expanding down this way too as necessary but i'd like to be able to do um you know a couple things on the side so we'll have to kind of figure that out when the time comes but for the tanks let's just put those i guess right behind this rock wall i'm kind of wishing i hadn't built at least this rock wall here now i don't know if there's any way to take these back down i mean i can't you know it has no collision for me um, so, yeah, there, we need a way in the game to disassemble things. Maybe there is, and I just don't know what it is. Um, anyway, let's go here. Let's go to utility and get our gas tank. And, ooh, that thing's pretty pretty good size. I think what we'll do is we'll turn it this way. And I don't know how close it's going to need to be. Um... So I guess we'll build it there. Hopefully that's going to be close enough. Does this have a, um, like a, a, a show boundary kind of thing? I don't know. All right. We also need to make a, uh, we need to make a water tank or yeah, liquid tank. And we have everything for that too. Now I'm thinking we should maybe put this over by the two water things. Or maybe what I'll do eventually is move these guys over next to the water so we can just put water in it. 
Uh, but we're also going to need more of these later on for other things like, you know, for the fuel for the vehicles and stuff. So I think what we'll do is we'll just put this right next to uh, the fuel tank. It kind of bounces around a little bit. There we go. All right, so we got the two tanks that are required for making the habitat. Now let's look at the habitat itself. So if we go to structures, we need 33 glass, 20 steel, and 15 aluminum. All right, aluminum we have 32 of, so we're good to go there. Um, Do I still have the magnesium in my inventory? No, I put it here. Okay, so how much steel did it say we needed again? 20 steel. Okay, let's do a sort here. And I have no steel, so I used it all up. Okay, so 20 steel. So that means that we need to do this... Uh, seven times. Oh, we can only do it four times. All right, well, it looks like we're going to have to go out and get some more iron. Is that what we're short? Yeah, we're short iron. Okay. Now, I also learned that there is a... Apparently, there's a gamma mine over by the New Dawn base that we're supposed to find anyways. And I believe it's actually easier than the beta mine. And then there's also an alpha mine, which is the hardest one. Um, so I guess what we could do, I mean, I'll mine, you know, I'll mine the iron off camera. I'm not going to do any more mining on camera to speak of because, you know, I can only handle so much of that, right, you guys? Um, so why don't we... Well, let me rephrase that. If we can find the gamma mine, well, I will do that on camera just because it'll be the first time we've done it. So why don't I look for the oh, uh, the New Dawn base? I have no idea where it is either, by the way. <laughs> um, so why don't I look for the New Dawn base? We've we've been kind of southish and eastish, but we haven't. I don't know that we've really gone northish and westish. So we're gonna go that direction. And if I find it, um, you know, then. I'll bring you back at that point, and we will we'll actually do the Gamma Mine. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I'm also going to, you know, do my daily harvesting of the trees and all that sort of thing and make a few more bandages, but again, I'll... Uh, do I have... Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. I was going to say. Uh, so I have 11 blue palms already, so we just need to go get some more red berries. Do I have red berries? Oh, I do have red berries. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll make a bunch of bandages. Anyway, um, I will look around, guys, for the uh, the new Dawn base, and when I find it, I will bring it back, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. Um, I have found, I think this uh, is Osiris base. I guess I'm not sure, or new Dawn base or whatever it is. Uh, we got three gas tanks, one of the rover vehicles. It's too bad you couldn't, like, fix these up and use them. Hmm. Let's go in here and take a look. I don't, uh, I don't think this is New Dawn Base. I think this is just like a random POI. You know what it does suggest, though, of course, for, for story, uh, story, which I don't, I don't even know if there is much of a story yet in the game, but I think there probably will be eventually, that other you know, humans or people have landed on this moon before us, which is interesting. Okay. Oh. What do we got here? Is it, oh, is this the gamma mine? Yeah, this is the gamma mine. Okay, so, um, 
I think this is the New Dawn base, but I thought... Here, let's look around again for a second. I thought there was supposed to be like a dead astronaut or something around here. That we were supposed to loot something from. I think this is the new non base because it's it's no longer here. Let's look at our our mission here. Locate uh, locate new dawn base. Locate and regroup with new dawn. Search for signals on your map. No, okay. So this is not new dawn base. This is a different POI. Um, why doesn't why doesn't it show up on my mission? Uh, usually it usually shows up on the left hand side. All right. Well, anyway, this is this is actually one of the things we were looking for, uh, the gamma mine. And uh, look at that little dune buggy. That's kind of cool looking. Um. So let's uh, let's go in here. Um, a couple of things too that I want to tell you guys. Um, this is a, it's actually the next real time day for me. I watched a couple of videos last night, and uh, I learned a couple of things. First of all, I was I had mentioned in uh, well earlier in this episode, but yesterday for me, that I I wasn't sure how to repair or remove stuff, but I think you can do that now with the multi tool. Um. I also found out that, you know, when your weapon or tool gets all the way uh, broken, it doesn't actually get destroyed. It just remains um, in a broken state and is much less effective. So that means that this chisel, we might as well switch to this chisel now. And then, you know, I'll either repair that at some point or just toss it or whatever. Um, okay, so um, let's go ahead and salvage this stuff. I guess we can't salvage that. And then um, we can pick up these rocks here. It's kind of weird that this is sort of glitched into the door. And then yeah, let's uh, let's go check out the gamma mine. This will this will probably be. Um, the one and only time we enter this mine because I think it's the easiest and the beta mine is and the beta mine is you know right next to our um, our, our base so if we're going to farm any anything it would make sense to farm that one um okay so let's see we have dehydration issues and I got two things of water here so let's just drink both of them and then we'll just take our usual blue berries to get the hydration all the way up which we've done and then we'll take a steak oh here comes the bad guy all right so we whoa he just glitched into the floor yeah i don't i don't like having to fight in third person but i mean if that's what we have to do to be effective that's what we have to do to be effective are those guys is can they go under no they're like just glitching through the stairs underneath me can they come back out or are they stuck now that is definitely something they have to fix in this game because the mobs get stuck in the walls yeah I think I think they're stuck oh shit what hit us all right hold on We're getting tagged by something that I can't see. That's bullshit. All right, let's just go past this area here. Okay, now I can see you. Vitals dropping. Here, let's get down on more low shit level ground here how did I put my knife away see it's a lot easier to hit these guys in third person all right let's go back this way Alright, 
I need to take one of these quick. Or two, maybe. Alright. Come here, you bastard. Got him. Okay, I think we've killed all of the immediate threats until the next one pops out of the wall. Let's eat another steak for some more health and take another one of these. I got the big bandages for emergency situations down there. I think what I'm hearing are the guys that are stuck in the wall. Yeah, there's a guy stuck in the wall right there. All right, let's loot these guys for their meat. I don't think we killed anything up there. All right, now he's out back out of the wall. One thing I did notice, um, for the smaller monsters, the parasite in particular, um, it actually seems to be easier to hit them in first person. But for the bigger mobs, um, it's better to be in third person. That's disgusting, man. Voracious Elida. Oh, okay. So we can go... Ooh. Ammo. Nice. Okay. Uh, we can go two different directions. We can go that way or this way. Let's go this way first. Oh, there's a dead astronaut guy. What the hell was that? Let's go into first person here. A key card tier one. A low level clearance key card used to open Osiris mission doors in abandoned settlements and mines. Huh, okay. I have a feeling like we're gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, need that later. What is this? Oh wow, that's a gold deposit. I think that's the first solid gold deposit I found. Okay, I'm going to mine up uh, uh, all these nodes, and then we'll proceed. Okay, so we got all the uh, things mined up. I'm not sure what the hell this thing is. It looks like an egg of some sort. Oh! You son of a... Where'd you come from? He must have... I don't know. One one thing I've noticed about beta mine is that um, you get kind of deep into the mine and it looks like you've cleared the place, but then it spawns like three or four of our monsters and they just come right out of the wall. I've you know noticed that a few times in there, so maybe that guy just came out of the wall or maybe he came through here and I just didn't see him. I don't know. Uh, all right. Now let's, uh, let's move downward. I'm gonna, oh, here we go. We got company. Seek medical assistance immediately. Alright, we're gonna take a, a big bandage here because we're hurting. Crap, I don't have my, um,. Oh, they killed us. Oh, no. Oh, man. You died. OG was killed by plagued arachnoid. Okay. I, one of my first mistake there was I didn't, I didn't put my frickin' uh, bandages on my toolbar, which I usually have them on there. Ah, oh, okay. Well, our first death. That sucks, but it is what it is. Um, okay, let's, um, you know what I probably should do is we don't absolutely have to have the food and water stuff on the toolbar. We do need the bandages. So that way I can spam these. Okay, so our health is reasonably back up. Let's, um, let's get our hydration back up with these. And then our food is good. Health's okay. All right. Now oh, that sucks, man. That was our first death. 
Oh well. It's kind of probably bound to happen sooner or later. All right, come on. Will you just die? How come it's taking so long to kill this guy? He must be... Well, he's a level four. You know, one thing, too, I'm noticing about the game, and this might be something I can f adjust in the settings, is that the mouse is, feels kind of sloppy. It's like it needs to be tightened up a little bit. Let's get, let's get the, our health top back off with the cheap bandages. Um, this is, oh shit, here he comes. All right. I tagged these guys a few times, so they got to be getting close to, oh yeah, we need to be in third person. He was a level two. All right. This is, uh. This is a little bit risky, but I'm going to go here really quick. Key bindings. No, I don't want key bindings. Or do I? Uh, calibrate. Assign controller. Restore defaults. Graphics and settings. Or graphics settings. Is there a... I thought I saw something about... Where you could adjust, you know, mouse play, that sort of thing. At one point. Invert. Mouse smooth. Okay, mouse sensitivity vertical. Glitch effects. I don't even know what that means. Mouse smooth step. Mouse smooth weight. Uh, I'm not sure what any of that does. Mouse sensitivity. I like, I you know, I'm good with the sensitivity. Glitch effects. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I'm going to turn it off and just see if it makes any difference. Nah, yeah, it doesn't. It still seems a little... Well, it's it's okay in first person actually. It's really just the weird third person feel. And actually, you know, I think actually the mouse is probably the same. It's just the look of the you know, just the position of the character and stuff that's just throwing me off a little bit. Anyway, well, let's get let's get moving here. This goes down deep. Okay, good. We got more iron. We need lots of iron. There's a bug. Is that bug glitched? There's two bugs. They look kind of glitched. Are they? Too bad for you. Too bad for you, man. That one's stuck in the in the thing. Oh, not anymore. Yeah, I think I think these smaller bugs, it's actually easier to fight them in first person. But you still have you still have to time the hitbox cuz if you get too close to them then you can't hit them, which is again needs to be fixed. It's not That's not right. Oh, oh wow, a pure thing of titanium. I don't know, guys. It doesn't seem to me like this mine is any easier than the beta mine. It seems to be about the same size overall. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Man, another pure thing of titanium.
All right, I think we're finished. I think we're finished in here. Let's go head on back out and see if we can get out of here without getting jumped. Uh, one thing about the beta mine is it's got a lot more containers. Um, what the hell? Looks like a, a leg just popped out of there. Um, beta mine has a lot more containers than this mine does. We did have an ammo box there. Okay. Still have those guys that are glitched in the floor. But, okay. I guess that's it. For beta mine. Or, I'm sorry, gamma mine. That was kind of fun. We hit, um... There did seem to be, uh, well, no, I guess I shouldn't say that because I, I know it's there's some RNG involved, but there did I was gonna say there did seem to be more solid uh, deposits in there as opposed to the ones that kind of have different ores and stuff in them. Um, what do we get out of that too? By the way, let's take a look. We had 26 iron. That's really good. 19 titanium, 18 gold. Cool. Um, the iron's what we need the most of at this point. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't think, uh, like I was saying, I don't think this is... Uh, here, let's go here. What? What's missions? Oh, missions is F4. Okay. We haven't completed this, so... Oh, so we can mark it as comp. Oh, okay. So if we want to just say get it, get out of here, I don't care. You can mark it as complete. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. So so we haven't completed this yet. So that means there's another base around here somewhere, uh, the actual New Dawn base. And as far as I know, there's one, maybe even two, like dead astronauts at that base that have something on them that we need to get. But I don't remember what those somethings are. So, well, um. There's two other things I need to find. I need to find an oxygen deposit and a or geyser, and I need to find a nitrogen geyser. And I don't know where either one of those things are. So what I think I'm going to do, you guys, is I think I'm going to let you go here. And I'm going to just continue wandering around looking for um, those two things in particular. And then I need to start hauling some gas back to the base um, so that we can get going on making plastic and rubber and that sort of thing, which is what we're going to need to finish our habitation. What I'll do too is I'll keep my um I'll, I'll keep the record button ready in case something um camera worthy happens. Uh and if not then I will meet you guys uh in the next episode and we will hopefully have enough resources to build our habitation and our fabricator so that we can then finally build the pistol which is what you know kind of my my most immediate goal. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.